Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live from Madrid here on EA TV. Hello, good evening on what is a wonderful night for football. Perfect playing conditions here at the Metropolitano in Madrid. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And the general feeling is we should be in for a spellbinding occasion. It's Spain against Italy. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Here's the lineup for Spain. Kepa stands between the posts. Emerick Laporte plays alongside Nacho Fernandez in central defence. Oyarzabal plays with Thiago Aspas on the flanks. And Morata is the main striker for this match. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Francesco Acerbi plays alongside Rafael Toloi in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And so the match is underway. Laporte. It's with Oyar Sabal. And the tackling like that, the onus is on the referee to take action potentially. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. Well, you can't drop your guard even for a fleeting moment when you're up against Oyar Thabal. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him today? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas. And he can... There it is! And just the ideal start! Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer. But you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Carvajal. It's with Gaia now. And the ball back with Spain now. Diago Aspas. Well, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Pedri. Might be a chance here. That is a tackle and a half. Easy save.
Morata on to Carvajal no problems for the keeper untidy in possession and they do like to press whenever they can Pellegrini well the perfect tackle really and now a throw in Well, those stats don't surprise me. Italy have certainly had more of the ball, but their attacking play has been too slow, mainly due to a lack of movement of the front players. At some point, they have to threaten the space in behind the defenders, otherwise they're going to lose this. Well, first order of business is to win the ball back. That's not a bad ball. Closing down well. Well, here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. <laughs> 2 0 now, and back on the way. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And so it is. The first half has come to an end here in the Spanish capital. Well, Pedri really excelling out there and no stopping him, apparently. Well, what can you say about him today? He's been a real live wire, full of tricks, great feet and good goals as well. Top stuff. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Just not looking confident in possession. Mikel Marino. Jorginho and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end shot attempted well fair play to him he took it on but off target in the end Pedri and successfully cut out Rodri has a go. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Strong but fair tackle. And the advantage accrues. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his booking there. Marino putting his body on the line. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Oh, what an opportunity. And denied by the post. Sound piece of goalkeeping. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Well, they have to have that sense of self-belief. Well, what a stop that was. So a personnel change then. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, the header was respectable, but the goalkeeper always seemed to have it covered. Well, those stats tell you everything. They're opening up the opposition at will, and while we've seen some really poor defending, their attacking play has been excellent. 
Well, she wanted to let the play flow, but in the end decided that that wasn't possible. Rodri. Carvajal. It needs an accurate cross. Well, not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Iago Aspas. Marino. Must be. Well kept out. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. And there it is, the final whistle. Just what Spain were hoping for. They have delivered a victory, Stuart. Well, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well. Going forward, there was some really nice, incisive play too. It's a good result for them. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.